So today I just wanted to share with you guys this um, the saxophone strap that I got about three months ago now and I've been really liking it a lot. Um, basically why I got a new strap, or I was just using a regular, like a, literally like a $5 strap, um, which is good, it's durable, it's strong, but it goes around my neck and just like right onto the saxophone, it's the most basic uh, saxophone strap but I just felt like uh, it was too much I was putting too much strain on my neck uh, especially when I started playing more tenor um, before I was playing a lot more alto but I was uh, in a show where I was playing a lot of tenor actually mainly tenor saxophone so it made me uh, first of all it, it gave me a lot of it started to give me a lot of shoulder pains back pains all these things so I didn't feel comfortable practicing um, wearing that strap. I, I also have a, a harness that I, uh, it was okay, but it's kind of clunky and it still kind of gave me pain a little bit. But now uh, I got this uh, strap made by this company called Jazz Lab. One word, Jazz Lab. And basically how it works is that this hook hooks onto the instrument and these, this little weird looking thing goes kind of look, uh, like that. And it doesn't hurt. It's actually very comfortable. And it doesn't dig into your skin or anything like that or your clothes. And uh, this part goes against your belly, right where you, uh, right above your diaphragm. So that, and it, this also, also, I was kind of worried, like, is this going to kind of affect my breathing? And if anything, it probably affects uh, affects my breathing positively because it forces me to have uh, always this um, engagement in my diaphragm. I'm always pushing air. But honestly, I never felt that, uh, felt that it was uh, affecting me or my playing negatively. And here is just a little thing that helps you adjust the length of it. So it's very, very intuitive and easy to use. I never read the manual, so... Just go like this. Go like this. And if I stand, it looks like this. So it goes right here. Okay, now I'm going to go on to my alto. Now, I think it works best for tenor saxophone. Here's my alto. Now I think uh, it's okay, but I kind of have to go a little bit like this a lot, and I, I like to leave this part kind of open for my own playing. So it works okay, especially if I'm sitting down, and it kind of... It actually works better when I'm sitting down, but when I uh, when I stand up, I find that I have to kind of go like this a little bit more. But it works well for alto, of course. But now I was really looking forward to using it for actually bass clarinet, and because I know a few people who use it for bass clarinet, and for the most part it works okay, and it works better than honestly most straps uh, I've used in the past. Uh, but the problem is uh, with the bass clarinet, I don't know if I can get the whole thing, but it's very long. So you kind of need to distribute the weight evenly on, onto the strap. But of course, there is only one hook. So technically, I think there should be maybe a hook here and like a hook there some, or something like that. Or like a belly push here and maybe like here for this. So that this instrument doesn't come like here. Because for bass clarinet, oh, see it's already kind of catching onto my pants. But um, this key, there are keys like all the way to the bottom. So you have to avoid it, and especially with these ones, always seem to kind of hit my leg somehow. Now I'm sure a lot of bass clarinet players are like, you know what, get over it, you'll get used to it. But I don't know. <laughs> I would rather just sit and play instead of trying to get used to something that 
doesn't seem to be working from the beginning. But let me try. <laughs> Now, in the, at the top, it works okay, but the, the angle is kind of really awkward for this kind of style of neck. Maybe if, if it was more down, it would feel uh, more comfortable. Or... Now, it's okay, but then now, there is nothing pushing here, so I feel like when I go down, it will come like this, which it does. <laughs> Like when I go to that go down, the instrument kind of goes like this. Okay, so there's push here, but not enough here. Now I can kind of what I'm doing is that I'm sorry, kind of doing it so that it goes to the between my legs, but then it just keeps going that way, so I can't play like this, right? <laughs> so anyway, my verdict, uh, therefore, is that I think it's a wonderful strap, uh, the best I've used for tenor saxophone. Um, not so bad for alto, but uh, I've yet to find a good strap for bass clarinet. But also, there aren't very, very many instances where I've had to wear one, but um, I would just use like a regular alto sax or tenor sax strap, because this, I don't think, works very well. But anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching, and if you have any questions about this product or anything clarinet related, saxophone related, please leave a comment.